Well, the New York City Council and Mayor Adams have reached a deal on permanent outdoor dining program. It would allow sidewalk seating year round, but those street side dining structures would have to come down during the winter months. This change would impact nearly 13,000 restaurants already participating in the city's temporary outdoor dining program, which launched June of 2020. I would news reporter Crystal Cranmore is live in Gramercy Park with the details. Crystal. Liz, good afternoon. Outdoor structures like the one behind me did not exist before the pandemic, but council has found a way to keep them going forward. Now, this does not sit well with some residents, but for restaurants, this is a big win. City lawmakers are serving up a plan to make outdoor dining permanent. They should totally be permanent throughout, especially the covered ones and the all the different weather makes it so nice to enjoy. It's still great. We love it. Who doesn't like it? Council is expected to vote on a bill that creates a program that will allow restaurants to use their roadside structures from April to November. Sidewalk cafes could operate year round. The businesses would be required to have a license from the city to participate and fees will be based on location and square footage. Our restaurants have been our foundations, right? And we really need to think about that this is an opportunity for legislation to prioritize affordability, right? And it, allowing more restaurants to participate and like at the end of the day, allow for better outcomes for small businesses. These structures like the one at Lil Frankie's probably, you know, 30,000 per site created during the pandemic as a lifeline to struggling restaurants. While Michael Prisanzano isn't thrilled about having to remove the structure during winter, he says the good outweighs the bad. A significant investment for us, but again, we're you know we're we're seeing the return and the amount of business that we're able to do. Not everyone has a positive view. Streets are so narrow, the fire department can't even get through. Right, their sight lines are covered. We can't see. Right, um, the streets need to be cleaned. There's other uses for the streets. We should plant trees. We should make it play streets for kids. This this is not equitable. Right, this is for one industry. I've met with several groups that. I do have concerns with the permanent sheds and look we hear you um, and this is why we are we are have to allow for a transition and next up is the design process figuring out exactly how these outdoor structures will look like lawmakers want to do away with the covered structure and have more of a patio setting council is expected to vote on the bill next month